and welcome in the next episode. Today we are going to talk about project ideas for Python. But before we will start, remember about thumbs up and remember to subscribe our channel so you will know about the next episode. And remember to turn on the notifications. Everybody. Today we are going to talk about Python project ideas for beginners. From some time we are adding uh, the front-end project ideas for JavaScript, HTML and for Node.js as well. But today I decided to move to a different technology which is also very popular among beginners. That's why I prepared 9 project ideas that you can do to create an awesome portfolio and to get hired and also to practice your Python skills. Before we start, let me tell you about some additional information that might be very, very useful for you, like for example selecting your code editor for Python. So, to run your Python code you can use any of the general purpose code editors like Visual Studio Code or Sublime Text for example or Item but you can also use a specific Python code editor like, for example, Spider uh, or maybe Bitter, which is paid, but it's also cool. And if you would like to find out more about this, I will add you the link to the article our friend created in the description of this video so you can compare and select the best code editor for Python and for you. Besides that, let me tell you about some libraries that would be really good to get familiar with before you will start creating projects in Python. So, it's a really great idea to find out about Django if you would like to be a web developer with Python as it's a web development framework. Another great framework is Flask and it will help you to create backend API with Python. And if you would like to find out how to do it, you can check out our video I will put you the card here, so you will learn Flask then. Another cool libraries are Pandas, NumPy, Matpolib and CherryP. I will also put you the link to the article about this video, where you can find links and some information about each of the library. And now let's start about the project ideas. The first project idea that comes to my mind and is pretty simple to build for a beginner in Python is a dice rolling. So what you should do right now, you should get the random number from the range between minimum and maximum and you can do it with the random module, which you can just import for Python. And it shouldn't take you more than a few lines of code. And besides that, if you would like to make it look pretty, you can add some nice front-end for that. The project idea number two is a well-known game, Paper, Rock, Scissors. You've probably played it in this game at least once, I bet. In this kind of game, you need to start by creating uh, three options paper, rock and scissors. Then you will also need here the random module to randomize the choice of the computer because in this game can play computer and the user. And the choice of user will be taken by the input so user can type for example scissors or rock or paper and then computer will get his answer randomly. Then you need a simple if else statement to see who won and why. Project number three will be a password generator. Do you know these situations where you have to generate some difficult password with numbers, digits, punctations and got no whatever more? I bet you do. That's why you can create a random password generator which will do it for you. For that, you need a random module, 
and strings in Python, which can provide you with characters, digits and punctuations. So the only thing you need to do is to decide how long your password should be. And that's it. The next idea for Python project for beginners is a simple chatbot. That sounds exciting, right? You can create a simple chatbot in Python using Chatterbot and Chatterbot Corps libraries. Then you need to train it with given data and you can use your chatbot. If you don't feel quite comfortable with that yet, take a look at the article about building chatbot in Python at our blog. I will, of course, give you the link in the description and you can do it with us step by step. The project idea number five is also a little bit connected with machine learning because what I would like to suggest you is to build a simple image recognition. To do that, you would need to import libraries like Keras, you would need some data that you will import to your project and transform, then you need to train your model and test it. That's it. And in this case also, if you don't feel comfortable with this kind of project, you can visit our blog and then you will find the step-by-step -step tutorial how to build Python image recognition. So, of course, I will put you the link in the description just below this video, so check it out! Project idea number six is more for the future web developers. Because here I would like to suggest you building a registration form with Django. You can do a simple template with the registration form, then you can use Django authentication system and easily build the registration form. And maybe you can also try to connect it with database. Besides that, it can be a great start for a bigger project with Django, right? The project idea number seven is something similar that I offered you in Node.js. It's a web scrapper. For this kind of project in Python, you can use Beautiful Soap to parse your HTML and XML data. And in this kind of project, you can learn about transforming your data and selecting the one that you really need from the whole file of the information. I think it's a great idea to practice working with data. The project idea number eight is quite exciting because it's a text summary application. So imagine that you have like a long article or a maybe book in digital version and you can put it to your application as an input and you can get the short summary of what was inside. How you can do it? So you need to divide the uh, input application for sentences, then you need to remove the stop words and then you need to create a range of the words. Then application should select the most significant one and create the summary from that. I think it's a great idea to practice data and you should definitely try it. And the last project idea I would like to suggest you here will be about generating fake profiles. If you are creating any application and if you need to test it, sometimes you need some fake data, for example, to input to any form or to create a user profile or something like that. That's when this kind of application can be really handy. So how you should do it? You need some data of users like names, surnames, addresses and stuff like that. Then you can use the random module to randomly select the needed data and return it. Pretty simple, right? And that's it. Congratulations! Now you know about nine Python project ideas that you can create to practice your Python skills, to grow your portfolio and probably to get hired because of your awesome portfolio. And one more thing, if you don't feel quite comfortable with Python yet, 
Remember that you can go to our website www.dwomly.com and there you can try one of our Python courses and learn everything from scratch. Ok, if you like the video, remember about thumbs up, it will be really nice if you leave one. And remember to subscribe our channel with the juicy red button down there and turn on the notifications. And besides that, leave us a comment, tell us what kind of product you would like to do, which one you tried to do or maybe which one you did. You can also show us what you did. I hope we will see you in the next video. Bye!